But let's move on from that then and, and what this does to the driver market. And first of all, who do you think will go to Red Bull now? Well, it's basically going to be a toss-up between Carlos Sainz and Pierre Gasly, although Carlos Sainz looked like he was tying up a deal with McLaren to either replace Fernando Alonso or be his teammate, depending on what Fernando Alonso decides to do next year. So it's, it's all becoming slightly confusing and murky. Obviously, Pierre Gasly, you wouldn't argue against him being a good person to put in that seat. He's really done well, hasn't he? He's, he did well in Super Formula, he did well in, in, in all categories, and now he's showing that talent again in Formula One. And if that's the case, that leaves, of course, a Toro Rosso drive. So if Carlos Sainz doesn't get the Red Bull drive and doesn't go to McLaren, what's his future? Sports cars. <laughs> Not back to Toro Rosso, obviously. I don't think. He, he, mm. He'll see that as a negative for his career. It'd be, he wouldn't want to do it. I don't think they would want to do it. Mm. I think he either is going to jump back in with, Red, in with the Red Bull machine now and go into the senior team, or he's got to cut the ties and go elsewhere. The question for them is, who else is coming through in, in, yeah. in their sort of talent ladder? They seem to have allowed it, allowed it to run dry. And how it. big a blow is it for Carlos? not to be the Renault driver that stays? Because he must yeah. have been thinking, I've got half a chance of being the teammate to the new Ricardo or the new Alonso. You would think mm. so, and he wanted a contract extension. Mm. He seemed to be happy at mm. Renault. He's done a lot to change his outlook. You know, he talks mm. about all the changes he's made to his life to be a Formula One driver. He is so determined to succeed. He's not slow. He's good in qualifying. Mm. He races well. And yet, every employer he's had seems to have put him in a holding pattern. Red Bull had him sort of sitting, they made him sit a year out in Formula Renault 3.5 and they promoted Max Verstappen ahead of him. They sort of decided that Max was the hotter talent. It always seems to be that Carlos is yeah. the bridesmaid whenever it comes to a decision. 